My name is Steve Clark. I'm the goalkeeper for the Columbus Crew. We're at North High Brewing. Um, the reason we're here is I had one of the best times. My first day out in Columbus, I brewed beer with my fiance, who I absolutely adore. We made an anniversary beer. Love this place. And it was just like really one of the best days that represented me being back home in the USA to play soccer. I fell in love with goalkeeping, 13, 14. I stunk, you know, got better. 16, I, I was all right. It started with a soccer camp when I was like 14. This coach was like insane. And we were doing these drills. And it was like the most intense things I've ever seen in my entire life. Hope College Soccer Camp, dude. And this guy, I'm like, this guy's insane, but he's really good, so I'm gonna take that attitude. And I just like stole that from him and I applied it every single day for 10 years. I was telling my dad at 16 when he was trying to get me to get a job that I was gonna be a soccer player, yeah. So I, I felt like it was meant to be, perhaps. When I was 16, I was gonna do whatever it takes. And I wasn't just wishy-washy dreaming and then like well, on the couch. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go do it daily. The biggest thing you have to get over is failing, you know, and it's still today. I don't, I'm not perfect, and I'm going to play bad games. Even though I can accept failure, I mean, I've had it, I don't want it again. It's also like, people are coming to get your job, man. You know, you only play for so long, so you need to do your best and, like, try to prolong. I'm trying to make money for my family. It used to be about me, like, oh, I'm on an ego trip, but now it's like, this is my paycheck, and that's what it is. It's for my family. I'm up at like 7.15, walk the dog, get breakfast, try to get to the locker room pretty early, uh, get my like corrective lift in. And then, uh, you know, I, I'm still the same guy, whereas I'm playing my whole day around training. You know, like my training is the most important thing to me. I don't, I don't come to training and like, oh, I can't wait to get through this. We go six days a week, so um, about three hours training. And the, what people don't understand is that it's resting is the major thing here. You need your body to be at its peak for two hours, so I can't work out for six. I need to play for three, two maybe, and rest for eight. So you do a lot of resting as a professional. I think the, the number one thing about staying at the level and getting to the level is you need to be at your best every single day. And it's not one good day, one bad. You need to have 75 good days for every bad day. And that's just a number, but you need to be at your best every day.